Welcome everyone, my name's Kay and I'm a wildlife carer. Come with me and let's explore the city of Casey's incredible biodiversity. With over a thousand different species in Casey, I'm excited to share with you a glimpse of the special animals, plants and fungi that we've got in our region. I hope you enjoy it. We have many biodiversity hotspots in our coastal areas, bushlands, wetlands and parks. But what about a bit closer to home? Put your shoes on, as today we're taking a step outside the back door to see what magic can be found in your backyard. There's so many kinds of backyards, those with a patch of grass, a few pots, some brushes or maybe a pond. Maybe your backyard's a park, or you might be lucky enough to have a farm or a bush backyard, sharing your home with all kinds of wildlife. Whatever kind of backyard you have, there may be many creatures that call it home too. Have you heard about food webs? It's a connection between all living things, from the tiniest of bugs to the birds and the animals and back again. Each creature relies on the next for survival. Some critters munch on fallen leaves and twigs, changing them into dirt which can help the trees grow. Areas with a lot of fallen leaves can make a perfect home for small reptiles like skinks who love to feed on the tiny bugs who live there. If you have a few rocks in your garden, you might find a blue tongue lizard comes to stay if you're lucky. This beautiful blue tongue lizard needed a bit of help raising her five young that she gave birth to in care after she had been hurt on the road. I think she enjoyed having someone to help look after her babies while she was unwell. I wonder what else we can find? Bugs? Beetles? Let's move this pot plant. I bet there's a few surprises underneath. There is! I can see an earthworm, an orange flatworm, and some little bugs burrowing deep. There's so much life in such a small patch. What about in the bushes? Look at this beautiful spider. She looks like she's been painted with spots and stripes. She's carefully weaving a perfect web, hopefully to catch an unsuspecting bug for dinner. Look at that, she's finished. Perfect. Sometimes you have to look closely to find special creatures because they use camouflage to hide. They might make themselves look like a leaf or a twig. Look at these two moths. They look like dried leaves. And look, can you spot the stick insect? It's a very clever way to hide from predators like magpies. Something special happens in your backyard too. Metamorphosis. It's when a caterpillar goes into a cocoon and comes out a moth or a butterfly. Or when a cicada breaks out of its shell, wearing a new green outfit with wings and a crown of jewels. Amazing. I wonder if you've ever seen them in your garden or heard their summer song. If you're lucky to live close to Cranbourne Botanic Gardens, your backyard might be home to the southern brown bandicoot. They're cute little burrowing animals with a short tail. They like to dig for bugs in the soil. There are not too many of these bandicoots. They are a threatened species and we're lucky that they call Casey home. I wonder if you've seen any. Depending on what your garden holds, it may have many birds stop by to collect nectar from flowers, berries from the trees, or bugs from the grass. Butterflies and bees will also stop by to collect pollen and carry it away, pollinating as they go. Whatever your garden may be, remember it's also home for many creatures. You can create different habitats just by planting flowering plants like wattle or bottle brush, having leaf litter and places to hide. You'll be sure to have wild friends come to stay. Remember, always have some shallow water too because everything gets thirsty in warm weather, just like me and you. I hope you've enjoyed a peek into your backyard and I look forward to exploring the bush, the water, the night and the sky with you too. Bye for now.